How's it going? Motor City Miner coming at you from my farm in the D. It's been a little while since we've been here. I've been super busy lately. Uh, wife's been super busy. Everything's super crazy. But we are at the farm because I got a lot of work to do because apparently y'all want the bull market to be here sooner than I wanted. Well, I, I, I'll rephrase that. I'm not going to disregard the bull market. I just thought that things would be a little more slow on the uptake, you know, and unfortunately I'm running out of time to get my stuff done here and be ready for the next Bitcoin cycle. So we are at the farm today. Um, I do have my new mic on, so let me know down below, you know, does this sound better? Does it sound more clear? It's supposed to be noise canceling. Don't really know how well it is. Uh, this is the first time it's in a loud environment. And yeah, it, it's very loud here. I mean, you guys know I have like endless fans everywhere out here, even in the hallway. Obviously, all the rooms have all the miners going. Um, you know, it's just loud everywhere we go. Um, but today, so we're actually going to be working in a couple different places. So I uh, just shut down this miner. Um, it has my A2000s in it. Um, shutting this down, I got to take those out because those will be going in my Flux uh, Octominer rig, uh, my Octo server for proof of useful work, which is coming. So I want to be up and ready and have that machine locked and loaded, ready to go. Uh, we're, so we're going to be taking out the A2000s today. We're going to put in some RX uh, 6600s. I have 12 sitting around that uh, have been waiting to go in this machine. Um, I have to do some rewiring once I do that, uh, just because, you know, what PDUs I want to put things on. So, uh, have been moving ASIC miners around as well. So, um, but we're going to head over to my dedicated GPU room, hot, cold aisle room, because, well, there it is. The Octo server has made it to the farm. Uh, for now, it's going to go on this desk, so I kind of cleared off everything off the desk. I do have the monitor in here still, just because I'm not 100% sure um, how this thing works. I don't even know what operating system's on here. Uh, I really have no idea, so probably will need a screen and keyboard to, you know, operate it. It's I would assume it's Linux of some type, but we'll find out. That'll be in a future video, but today... We're just going to kind of unpack this, put it on here for now. Uh, that'll be so I can work on it. Uh, again, not knowing how this thing works. I don't want to just put it straight onto a rack, which can be a nuisance to get things on and off of. So we're going to try and get it up and running here in a future video. My grand plan is um, actually to put it on top here. So I uh, currently, you can see, have this raised pretty significantly. Um, so I'm going to drop down the bottom shelf uh, and then drop down, you know, the middle shelf and then that should give me a big enough gap at the top to put this guy on top. Um, so that's where it's going to go with my, it'll have 10 A2000s in it. Um, so I guess I'll have two extra A2000s, but you know, it is what it is. You're probably wondering why am I doing A2000s? They're not like super high in VRAM. Um, or like, you know, even core wise, but it's because of their efficiency. Um, so proof of useful work again is like full bore using all your TDP. Well, the A2000s are limited to only 70, uh, Watts. So, um, and they pretty much run at that all the time. They're just designed to be at their full TDP 24 seven from the start. They're an enterprise GPU. So I think they'll be more stable than throwing in, uh, you know, some 3070s or 3080 that are, you know, geared more a traditional graphics card. Um, plus, the slots are really close together in the Octo server, so um, I want to be able to put all 10 cards, and that's just not possible with 3080s or anything like that. Anything with, that needs a decent sized heat sink. So that's why I've, I've decided I'm going to do the A2000s at least to start in the Octo server. But yeah, so I don't even have those GPUs available yet because they are in that other machine. So today that's kind of what we're going to be doing is uh, just taking this guy down, 
uh, taking out all the GPUs and getting it up and running. Uh, so just kind of showing what I'm doing here. Um, but yeah, so we'll be right back in a little bit once I get this unpacked and on the table and the other machine GPUs out. So, all right, so these are the 12 RX 6600s that need to go in that rig and I got to take the A2000s out. Um, and then we did get over in the blue squadron room, we did get the Octo server unboxed. So there it is, it's on the table for now. Um, we'll have to take off the lid to put those A2000s in. But essentially I'll just run an ethernet from my uh, network switch that's at the top of this rack in the back. Um, I'll just run a long co uh, ethernet cable to this while I set it up and figure out how the hell this thing works. Um, and then eventually, like I said, I'll go on the rack. But uh, that'll be a different video. Today we're just focusing on preparing to be able to work on that machine. So we're going to hop back in here. I'm going to take that guy down. We're going to swap out these GPUs and probably do some compile mining with AMD here. But don't know yet. All right, so we got the... Um, A2000s all out of this X12 Ultra. Um, <laughs> these things, I mean, they, they run nonstop all the time. I mean, they're a workhorse. Love these little cards. So little power, so efficient at pretty much every algorithm. Um, but they are filthy. Very, very filthy. Every single one of Like, you can see my fingerprints on this one. But, uh, yeah, just absolutely grimy, nasty, like, ugh. ugh. So, uh, I'm definitely, since I'm moving what machine they're in, I'm definitely going to quickly service, service all of them, get them cleaned up before I put them in the Octo server. Um, but that, again, Octo server setup will be a different video. be way too long of a video, because I, I don't even know what I'm getting into. So... Uh, but yeah, definitely going to clean these up before I do that. So, but for now, we're going to leave this room as it is. Goodbye, Blue Squadron, for today. We're done working in there. Um, but yeah, we're about to uh, start popping in these RX 6600s. I do have to get some power cables because those A2000s don't require power from uh, PCIe. Uh, so I do have to get some cables so I could power all these GPUs. So be right back once I get all those in there and we're ready to go. All right, so we're about ready to go here. Got all 12 RX 6600s in there here, all the wires um, to the new PSU. I did have to put in a higher wattage PSU just because um, with the A2000s, you know, they all only take 70 watts max. So I was only running uh, three like 460 watt PSUs. Um, obviously, it's with the TDP here, depending on the algorithm, needed to add in it some extra power, so we got the extra power there. Uh, that's why there's that one that looks a little different. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna button this up, throw it on the rack, and then hopefully get mining here. Hopefully, I haven't run any of these cards before, so hopefully there's no issues. We'll, we'll see, though, once we boot it up. All right, guys, moment of truth here. We're gonna hit the power button. Hopefully it fully boots without issue. Let's do it. All right, well, we're gonna head on over to the computer, see if it does indeed pop up, and that all the cards are registering in HiveOS. All right, and just like that, it has booted. It is registering all 12 RX 6600s. So we are in business and good to go. So I don't know what I'm gonna mine yet with this thing, but just one step, one more step, done. Uh, so like I said, next step is gonna be uh, to get that uh, blue squadron up and running with that flux uh, proof of work, proof of useful work, Octo server. So um, we're not, I, I guess I locked myself out of this room. 
but it doesn't matter. I'm not really working on that today. I got to go home. I got to go to bed. So like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a video on this Octo server. Again, no idea what to expect, but it's coming. Blue Squadron is coming with its flux proof of useful work Octo server. So come back soon. Until next time.